one for my brother-in-law and yeah I'm have I'm, I'm enjoying this weather and be able to do all this stuff again out in the nice weather we know it's not gonna last here in Michigan it changes his mind probably more times than I changed my underwear that was a joke <laughs> but either way let me show you a little bit of what it looks like outside right now because it is absolutely gorgeous It is beautiful outside. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's get back to uh, what we need to do. I'll talk about. Okay, just like every other uh, person who does projects, so either if they're a woodworker, they have extra cutoffs from other projects or failed projects. And I have some here that were fails. Um, I have these here that are diamonds, stars, flaw, or hearts, all different kinds of uh, different things in there from past resin. Where I pour too much, I put them in here. Well, I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, uh, can't remember his name. I apologize. But uh, Moon Pie Creations. He sat there and I guess I think it took him two years. Where he had a, a mold, a pot, whatever you want to call it, plastic container. Where if he had extra, he just poured it in there. Well, two years later, it was full. And then he just turned that. It, it, it came out really nice. So he gave me the idea for that, so thanks. Uh, so I'm going to do that there instead of wasting my time on these here. I did promise to give those to some, well, let's say I, I, I had promised, but I told her I'd give them to her. So I'm going to use some of those as a fill in with all the extra stuff here. And let me make sure you guys can see it. Oops, I'm going to lose you guys here in a minute. Uh, yeah, all these here, all the cutoffs that I have. This, this is another failed project right here. There's a bunch of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these here and some of these here and add it to this here. Let me add to this here. I like the shape of it. I found that at the uh, dollar store. Molds are a lot better to get from there because they're cheaper. And if you destroy them, it's all right. But I still get a little upset over a dollar. I try to keep them. I'm not, I'm not a penny pitcher by any means. But it's just I like to have more use out of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this block in the bottom of it. So there I have a place to put my mortise and my logo. So let's get pouring. Or actually, let's get it uh, together. <laughs> Sorry.
the reason why I went with white, it's actually a silver white. You guys have seen this before. Um, it's because I already have different colors in here. I have blacks, I have whites, blues, greens, yellows, golds, reds. So I just figured the white would be a good contrast to these colors here versus uh, adding on yet another color or another darker color which would just take away from what's already here. So I'm pretty sure I don't have enough but we're going to go for it. We'll be back when uh, I get ready to bring another pressure pot when she's all cured. Alright, see you then. Okay, real quick break. I found out that while getting ready to do another uh, mold and figure I was going to make, all these cracks here I found through here and up through here. They were, uh, I thought this one was dry. Oh, apparently not. So lesson learned. And this one here, same thing. There's a big crack developed here. So I got hot glue, filled it in. There's cracks down in here as well. That's being filled in, and there was a big crack. I think you'll see some of it right there. But yeah, so, yeah. Make sure your wood is dry. All right. Oh, well, back to the rest of it. Well, I showed you guys before. Uh, I signed off before I was going to get the mold out. That these here had all the cracks in them. Well, they're all finally fixed. It was uh, right there. All through here. I can't even hold this thing in my hand. I need to be a basketball player. I don't have big enough hands. But all those right there were all the cracks. I had to take everything back down to bare uh, wood again and sand it all down. And I even had to return a little bit of it. Uh, this one here, same thing. Um, all these cracks here were those there. And right now I got a uh, CA glue in there right now because there was little pits that I couldn't uh, anyway I poured another thing of resin just for pits so did that there and now to show you the actual come out of the mold when I poured uh, the other day I went to go look because now I have I guess PTSD of this thing having a leak in it, um, the molds, and leak it back into my uh, pressure pot. So I went to go check it, and everything was fine. But the curiosity got the best of me, so I wanted to see what it looked like. And I found out that the mold was stuck, even after the uh, mold release, it wouldn't, come, it, wouldn't come, it wouldn't let go. So I guess the dollar store things that you, we find is maybe a mold we can use, possibly, it's usually good for one time and that's fine. So, there it is. I gotta take all the top off, flatten all that down, and then we can mount it up and I gotta start turning it. When this thing come out, it reminded me of uh, Nick Sametti always saying, what was he always say? Funky. Because all of his colors he likes to use. And this has a lot of color in it, but it's it's not quite as colorful as uh, Zemetti's, but which I wasn't trying to do that. But it's just I had extra, so I threw it in there. And yes, to my uh, Chris, 
you will uh, get the rest of the little resin heart bits and everything else. I don't want to use them again. I just wanted to do that to see if it would, what it would come out to be like. So let's get this thing uh, flattened out, then uh, mount it, or uh, the faceplate put onto it, and then mount it, and I'll be back with you. Another beautiful day outside. Spring is finally around the corner. Uh, with Michigan, it may be another month. You never know. All right, I got her mounted. Let's start turning. Well, she's a little wobbly. I don't know if that was because of the mold or... I don't know which way it is. I don't know if it pushed it out or not. I don't know. But, <laughs> it's all starting to chip out. Sort of like how this is uh, coming out through here. And it swirls around the, I think that was a seashell. Yeah, I like that. I like this white. Pretty. But as you can see, I still got this here to take, still to finish rounding it out. I wish this thing was more level because I'm losing a lot as I'm doing this. But <coughs> it's all right, right? Okay. Now I gotta figure out what kind of shape I wanna do with this. I don't know if I wanna like swoop it from like from here, swoop it in this way. I mean it already is that way, but a bigger swoop, like a cocktail glass, or just leave it as it is and get somewhat of a better shape to it, but Leave it as it is. Well, we'll find out.
Okay, I think I'm going to try to probably start like right about here and start going in and making a swoop so it looks, I guess, like a flower or so you have something opening. I'm going to try something like that there. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but let's give it a go. Seems to be a week of uh, of uh, <laughs> disasters doing wood turning. I watched uh, Pull Barn Doug. His flew off, or part of it broke because he's got he got uh, a check. Uh, Moon Pie, I forgot how his happened. I think his was a oh no, his was the bark that gave way. And me today, I got a check that took a big chunk out here. All these little raspy things going through here. Yeah, that was uh, a little scary. I wasn't, uh, I don't think we're never prepared for it, but yeah. Well, I'm going to see if I can get this out of here without making this too much more smaller. And uh, I'll come back to you. Well, got her all taken out. I still got little bumps here, like little waves I got to take care of. But for the most part, it's all out. I think you should just name this a scrap bowl because that's all it is is scraps. Alright, well, gotta do a little bit more and then we'll come back. She looks a lot better cleaned up. Alright, I'm going to flip her around and start hollowing her out. Well, that stinks. One out of the four screws broke. I hate drilling these things out. I really do. Ugh. Alright. Oh, not as I'll be back.
remember I told you, remember I said the, uh, you can't even see my head, and it's too big anyway. Uh, when I said that, uh, I had the catch, <laughs> it cracked my tool. And this thing here, the shaft of it, almost came flying out at me. So, I might be done for now. I might have to come back to this later. Alright, well, if I can figure something out, I'll come back to it today. Alright, well, I figured it out. Temporarily, because this is going to be uh, kind of sketchy. But either way, I drilled a hole through the wood in the shaft, put a, uh, a screw in, or a nail, and used like a cutter pin and just bent it. It's uh, not going anywhere. It's, it doesn't turn. It's pretty tight. So hopefully it should work. <laughs> Woo! Sketchy sketch. <laughs> in here so I'm hoping that uh, sanding it will uh, get rid of it so I'm probably gonna start with like a 40 grit just to really get that flat as much as possible so all right off to the wonderful sanding Alright, you guys see me sand before. I'm going to sand the inside and then uh, I'll turn it back on when I'm getting ready to uh, do the denatured alcohol and uh, clear it. This thing was a pain. A pain. <laughs> Woo! Alright, I'm going to use a spray lacquer this time, and uh, hopefully it comes out a whole lot better. I don't know. Now that white looks really nice. I can't, you guys ain't seeing it. Oh well. I sprayed it and you guys didn't even get a chance to see it. 
Well, you're really missing nothing. It's just spray can. But either way, the white looks a lot better now with that nice uh, gloss to it. All right, I'll come back when we're doing the, uh, the next coat. All right, well, she's done. Got her all nice and shiny inside and out. I wasn't for sure about the white, but it's all right. To me, this reminds me of uh, if anybody plays the game, Angry Birds or uh, Candy Crush. But it looks like Angry Birds and Candy Crush got in a fight. Between all the blocks being destroyed and everything else by the pig, or the birds, and the Candy Crush here, all the little, what do they call them, gems or uh, candy, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the word, candy, right? Candy Crush. Uh, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It looks like they got in a fight and that's the war field that's left over. Uh, but it still looks good, I'm just that's what it reminds me of. Um, and like I showed you in the, in the video, so repair work on the green one. It's all done, come out nice again. That's all fixed. As well as this one, it's so dark you probably can't even see it. There's a little, uh, let's see, the splits through here. I had to take everything down on this one here, back down to being naked, and resurface everything and stain it and then clear it again. Uh, but all in all, they come out nice. I was able to save them. And I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Pull Barn, Doug, and Nick Sametti both, because over the years of watching them and me learning, well, I've been doing this for a little over a year, but watching them for years doing their thing, I've learned how to fix the stuff. Uh, so shout out to them. Thank you for sharing that and teaching us beginners on how to do those things. Um, I would like to say that people who do watch the video, please, uh, if you do like it, leave a like. Because I have a lot of people watching it, but not liking it, like I said in the last video. Uh, and, you know, it does help out the channel when you leave the like. So I'm going to ask you to subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you like what you see or don't like what you see. But either way, I appreciate you guys' time, and God bless. Have a good one.